Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to discuss vortex flow and to discuss circulation. So vortex flow, it's pretty similar um, to the source and sink flow. Um, it's really just the opposite. So instead of having our uh, streamlines being radial, we've actually got our streamlines being the concentric circles uh, flowing around a central point. And therefore also our um, velocity potential lines are now radial lines. Um, the first thing um, that we have with a vortex flow that which we want to define is uh, the value um, for our rotational velocity here. So, um, and that's the rotational velocity of the vortex, not the fluids themselves, because this still is an irrotational flow. So that is that V theta is equal to K over R, where K is some uh, constant. So you can see we've got a bit of a hyperbola uh, going on here. So essentially the equations are derived in the same way. Um, we're using the polar coordinate system and we're integrating um, in terms of r and theta uh, where necessary to come up with our streamline equation and our velocity potential equation. And you'll notice it looks quite similar um, to the source and sink equation. We don't have that m over 2 pi now. We have the k um, and then um, the uh, streamline and velocity potential uh, functions are obviously opposite. So the key equations that you need to know uh, is that the streamline is equal to negative k ln r and that the velocity potential equation is equal to k times theta. So there's our two equations for vortex flow.